Hi, I'm Dan, and let's drink some LaCroix. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel Dan Drinks LaCroix. My name is Dan and I'm your host. Thank you so much for joining us. We have a special episode for you today. I am so excited for it. Uh, this is what I've been waiting for. This is actually why I started this channel, was to begin to really do some, some heavy lifting and uh, kind of separate the wheat from the chaff in the world of sparkling waters. Uh, so I, I can't wait to get into the content, but before we do that, here are some comments from viewers like you. All right, here are some comments from LaCroix Orange. Parley Hall says, Dan, I'm so glad you're back. Thanks, Parley. Me too. And Reese B says, Dan is back. Thanks, Reese. Glad you like the videos. And here are some comments from the Limoncello video. Shanna S, three months ago, says that Limoncello is one of top three. It's up there with key lime and cran raspberry. Shanna, thank you so much for your comment, and I couldn't disagree with you more. Uh, Limoncello is one of my least favorite flavors. But thanks for watching the video, and thanks for commenting. I hope soon to do a side-by-side -side of Limoncello and LaCroix Lemon uh, that should be really exciting. Stay tuned in the next few weeks. You might get to see that. And uh, Chris D says that he, he says, I do have to say that the Duluth episode was very nice. Thanks, Chris. That one was a lot of fun to film. That was where I was just standing by the lift bridge, downtown Duluth in Canal Park, and uh, just drinking LaCroix and listening to seagulls as they swam by and uh, people walking in front of the camera. And yeah, that was fun to film. I hope to do more destination videos like that in the next few weeks, so stick around for that. Thanks for commenting, everyone, and if you want to see your comments read and responded to by me, and they don't have to be comments, they can be questions, too, uh, just leave them down in the comments, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks! So, friends, one of the reasons it's taken me so long to get to videos like this is because I wanted to get a baseline of as many different LaCroix flavors as possible before I started bringing in some other brands. And so that's why I went out of my way to sample every one of the classic line of LaCroix and even some of the Curate and uh, Nicola. And I haven't released those videos yet because they're getting harder and harder to find, uh, but they're coming. Uh, and that was really what was setting up these side-by-side -side video comparisons. So just in case you were wondering, because uh, this is really, this is why you log into this channel. It's to, to know if you're going to spend your 4 or $5 on a 12-pack of sparkling water, what is the right sparkling water for you? What is the one that conveys the ethos, the branding, but most importantly, the flavor that you need in your life? I hope this video helps. Today, we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of LaCroix Lime, Bubbly Lime, and Topo Chico Taste of Lime. This is the first time that this channel has done comparison videos. I hope you like what you see. All right, let's get these open. We got the bubbly here. And then this guy is not a pop top. And here's normally where I'd say let's get this into a glass, but let's not. Nice. All right, friends, here is my comparison of LaCroix Lime, Bubbly Lime, and Tapa Chico Hint of Lime. Now, as longtime viewers of the channel know, that LaCroix Lime is my daily driver. There is at least 12 cans of this in my apartment at all times. Anytime it's on sale at the store, I just run down, I grab one. I crush these maybe four to six a day. So you know that I'm biased. 
And for the sake of this video, am I going to try to hide my bias? By no means. Uh, however, I hope that this will be somewhat fair and mostly impartial. So here we go, let's get our, this is our control group, this is our baseline test here, LaCroix line. Classic. Comfortable. This is uh, even quintessential, right? This is a phenomenal beverage. If you're looking for something to, uh, to quelch your thirst on a hot summer day or a cold winter day like this one, LaCroix Lime, it's the way to go. Uh, also, sorry, I think you're getting a little bit of a reflection here on the can. I'll, I'll try to cut down on that. No, this is great. It's not overpowering. It is subtle. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. Have it out of the can like this. You can have it out of a glass. Uh, this is great. By the way, I forgot to say, uh, the reason we're not doing this from a glass today is so you can see exactly which one I'm drinking and you know that I'm not just messing with you. Because I'm not going to lie to you, faithful viewer. That's LaCroix Lime. Delicious. Fantastic. Terrific. Groovy. Now, let's get into some bubbly. Uh, I'm, I'm relatively newcomer to the bubbly water, uh, this brand. I think I was most made aware of them in 2018 with their Super Bowl ads that had Michael Buble. Uh, cute. Fun. Here's something, though. I've never seen a LaCroix commercial. You know why? We don't have to see LaCroix commercials. Anyway, let's see how this tastes. This is bubbly lime. Okay, so this is, um, it's, it's got a, a lot more flavor to it, right, than the, than the LaCroix. Uh, but it's not as authentic to what a lime tastes like. So this would be more artificial. I can taste a little bit more sugar. Um, other, other people have told me once they started watching this channel that bubbly lime or even key lime by LaCroix uh, tastes like a lime skittle. And I definitely can see where you get that. Uh, yeah, it's chewy. Uh, I want to say that's that sweeter, that sugary taste to it. Excuse me. So, yeah, do I hate it? No. Am I going to go out of my way to buy it? Probably not. Um, bubbly, though, here's the thing. If I'm on a road trip or, like, on my way to work and I forget to grab my cans on the way out, I'll stop by the gas station and they'll typically have bubbly in, like, a 16-ounce can, a little tall boy. Uh... So I'll, yeah, I can mess with that. That's fine. Yeah, pretty good. I also want to say the packaging, right, the branding, this is, uh, this is interesting. It's happy. You got a little smiley face on there. It's got a smiley face here. They want you to be happy as you're drinking it. And it says no calories, no sweeteners, all smiles. Also, it's got a colorful tab here. Uh, says, oh, hi, that's cute, that's fun. Uh, let's just do a side-by-side -side on the, the branding here from the LaCroix. And here you've got, let's see, no sweeteners, no sodium, innocent. All right, this is tasty. Let's go back. This is going to be my palate cleanser. We'll go back to this, and then we'll try the other one here. Delicious. Delicious. Okay, moving on to Topo Chico. Now, this is not a, this is, I, I'd say it's a whole different category than LaCroix or Bubbly because this is a sparkling mineral water. Now, mineral water is used, uh, it's made with quinine or quinine, depending upon where you're from, how you pronounce it. Um, but it's a different thing. Uh, this was actually used as, not this particular bottle, but uh, uh, mineral water was used as uh, medication for malaria back in the day, so that's why you'll get a, uh, an English pronunciation, or a British English pronunciation of it, uh, pretty common as well. Think about it, they were colonizing parts of the world that had mosquitoes that carried malaria, they needed something to help with that, and here's where mineral water comes into play. 
Now, Topo Chico, uh, I've seen this in stores since I was a little kid. I used to see it down at HEB uh, when I was in North Texas. Uh, so this, this is just a beautiful bottle. Just gonna say that before we even jump in. Uh, I like the green, I like the yellow, the colors, this kind of bold red brand. Um, <clears throat> it looks like there's, there's an illustration of a woman drinking from, from a stream. Uh, also notice she's not wearing a shirt. Uh, this is supposed to be a channel safe for kids, uh, but there's some nudity there. I'm going to cover that up. I'm just going to say this, that LaCroix has never had to use uh, nude advertising to sell beverages. Just going to leave that there. I will say, though, you will see this out um, maybe if you're at a microbrewery or at a restaurant or even coffee shops. You can get um, mineral water. It goes really well with espresso, really good with coffee. Just like a super nice, uh, delicious drink. So let's try this. This is this has got a hint of lime in it. Excuse me, twist of lime, carbonated mineral water, naturally flavored, and this is from Monterrey, Mexico. Uh, all right, let's jump on in. Wow, that is remarkably different than the first two. Uh, also. If you heard that, the bubbles coming up the, the mouth of the bottle as I was drinking it, that was just a, that's a neat feature, right? That's not a bug, that's a feature. Let's, let's dive in again. Yeah, so you definitely taste that this is a mineral water. This has more body to it. This is like uh, getting punched in the diaphragm with carbonation because of that quinine, that mineral water, that, um, that richness. It is very good. I, I even say that the, um, the lime on this one is just as subtle as the lime on the LaCroix, but you're getting more from the mineral water side of things too. So that's something worth, worth paying attention to. Yeah, all right, let's go back to this, then this, then that. So lime LaCroix again. Oh, that's just so good. Classic. All right, back to the bubbly. This is, oh, it's got a little, little message here. That's kind of fun. It says, I feel like I can be open around you. <laughs> Get it? Get it? Open? Anyway. Yeah, they're just, um, that's really robust in not my favorite way. I don't hate it. I know they've got other flavors that I think I actually enjoy more than this. Uh, but I think it's because I like this one so much. So that's the bubbly. And then finally, uh, this is really nice. So just to say, if I'm entertaining, I'm not entertaining because we're in a uh, COVID pandemic, right? But if I ever have guests, eventually, keep some Tapa Chico or mineral water or even like LaCroix sparkling water in the fridge to offer to your guest. And that's just like pop notch. That'll bring you from, uh, from like barely an adult to like functioning adult. So, there you go. So, Tapa Chico, here it is. Yeah, that's really good. Um, as I'm as I'm saying these things, part of me wishes that I didn't have three open beverages in front of me because this is just a lot to drink. I've got thirty six ounces of sparkling water in front of me here. Well, twenty four of sparkling and twelve of mineral. Um, delicious. What do you think? Are you a fan of LaCroix Lime, Bubbly Lime, or Topo Chico Twist of Lime? Let me know down in the comments, uh, and if you like what you see, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this video. Hit that subscription bell, that way you get notified every time I make a new one. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think of these beverages. Uh, I think that this is really gonna blow our comment section wide open. Um, and if you, you want to see a, a, um, a review of a beverage that you don't see here that I haven't gotten to, let me know. I'd love to see that. Anyway, I hope you're doing really well. Happy New Year, and uh, see you all later in 2021. Thanks.